What's going on guys? This is Boot Rampling Boom Beach. Welcome to another episode of Zero to Max. On this video, we're gonna be attacking real player bases, NPC bases, building up those buildings. Basically, we're just gonna be doing some freestyle. Okay, we're also gonna be talking about the sneak peek that landed on the Facebook, the critters, and they totally looks awesome. I mean, like it's a box tossed from the gunboat, and when the box lands on the ground, it basically splits up in the tiny little robots it's super sweet it's super neat it's super cool okay it's time to upgrade something I'm now I'm gonna be building up the lining craft to level 3 I'm just gonna be instant finishing those troops and yeah let's upgrade the uh, the lining craft to level 3 there we go 3200 wood and it's 45 minutes to uh, to uh, to finish the uh, the uh, the construction we're also gonna be looting up the victory points reward and I'm gonna be choosing the live fragment because I'm gonna be building up a statue because I don't have any statue at all and I'm really hoping that I'm gonna be getting wood or gold on this statue um, from the sculpture and we're getting like we're getting like the wood production 11% and I'm absolutely gonna be claiming that and releasing that onto my base and there we go so it's time to uh, attack something or probably open some clouds on the archipelago or is, or is it archipelago or archipelago I can't I don't know what's the correct word but I think it's archipelago so okay open Opening the cloud and I'm gonna be uh, looting the chest of course because the chest is free diamonds I'm gonna be changing the opponent to something else and we got like the Barracuda 76 level 13 and he got like 44 victory points and from uh, what I see here it's gonna be an easy win for me I'm gonna be t deploying my troops from the left side of the beach the heavies are of course getting into the front here while the Zookas are coming from the behind doing the massive damage so okay it's time for the, the heavies and the Zookas to have some fun and I'm gonna be uh, be uh, taking down the cannon of course first because that is super super dangerous at lower level gameplay for the heavies because the heavies cannot handle too much damage from the cannon when the cannon is uh, firing at the heavy so okay we took down the cannon and we took down the sniper tower tossing uh, a medkit upon the troops and or or the heavy the one and only heavy is eating whoa I took a lot of damage from the boom and mine there or uh, a mine not the boom mine but mine and that is really devastating for my heavies if I step on two mines that's basically gonna be wiping out my Zuka army and I don't want my Zuka army to be uh, pretty much blasted away uh, from the mine so I'm relocating my Zookas and my heavies up to the north side of the base and from what you see here guys um the HQ is basically naked right now. Nothing is harming my heavies or my Zookas. That means I can freely damage the HQ down to the ground. And I'm doing massively damage on the HQ right now. This HQ is definitely going down. Um, it got tons of HP. So I'm tossing tons of rockets against the HQ. And the HQ is going boom like a fishy guacamole. And there we go. It took down Barracuda 76. 44 victory points. Level 13 just went down. We got like some shards there or fragments. I really do not know uh, the different by difference about uh, by the shards or fragment, but I think it's shards. Or fragment <laughs> never mind guys it doesn't really matter but we're gonna be spending my my uh, my gold because I got like 29,000 that is the maximum gold I can carry right now because my my storage are not uh, upgraded too much here so I need to spend my gold on something um, what about the wood should I be upgrading something I think I'm gonna be picking the stone storage I need like I need like storage for the stone so I'm gonna be uh, removing some stone objects uh, surrounding my base to get the last stone that I need and I'm gonna be uh, taking this one and there we go we do have enough stone now to upgrade the stone storage that is definitely uh, a priority because uh, the stone is actually really really hard to fetch at the early early uh, early gameplay okay so what's the next thing to do here we're gonna be jumping over to the map probably and we're gonna be um, creating the last heavy we need there four diamonds to instant finish that heavy what's going on man come on so we are exploring another cloud here and, uh, and uh, Lieutenant Hammerman is popping out from the cloud. I got like two Hammermen right now, level 10 and level 20. I'm not going to be attacking them right now because I'm going to be saving them. So I'm going to be attacking a real player base probably or should I be waiting attacking real player base. And let's 
Yeah, well, let's head over to NPC base. I don't think I'm gonna be attacking Cravenger right now because we're gonna be saving the fun uh, to the last part of the video. So yeah, we're just gonna be scouting this base, and yeah, that's basically it. So let's jump over to the NPC base. Who's the NPC base that we're gonna be attacking, or should I be exploring another cloud? Yes. Um, by the way, if you do have enough gold to explore the clouds, keep on exploding them, or uh, not exploring, but exploring them, keep, keep on exploring the clouds, because uh, they basically give you more NPC players than real player bases. So, the first NPC base is going to be tasting my pain, it's actually kill zone level 6, there's tons of boom mines at the start of the beach, um, the HQ is covered with two sniper towers here, and I'm going to be taking only one sniper tower, and I do think that's going to be enough. Uh, before I can go for the HQ, so my my heavies are actually standing at the front right now. The uh, the Zookas are taking down the first sniper tower, and I'm taking my pain and bringing the pain, the Tor Samurai, the lightning bolt upon the HQ. The HQ is just tasting tons of pain. My Zookas are bringing down that HQ. Check that out, guys. The sniper tower cannot stop the heavies. The heavies got uh, tons of HP. They have like rocking awesome, super super tons of super craziness of the health bar. Yes. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> so it's time to uh, time to uh, attack another player here or uh, NPC base. And the, the second NPC base that we're gonna be attacking is Exploding Fist. Ooh, Exploding Fist. Um, I'm gonna, gonna be deploying my troops on the right side of the base, and uh, this is not gonna be a problem for me. The only threat here is actually the sniper tower. The flamethrower cannot harm uh, any of my troops actually, because the the, the Zookas will basically take care of the flamethrower, and the flamethrower cannot do damage against the uh, the Zookas, because the Zookas are actually firing from the far far distance. And check it out, flamethrower is just standing still there, and the sniper tower just went down. Same with the mortar; they don't have any chance against my my heavies and my Zookas. I'm just blasting this exploding fist npc base level 7 just a fishy guacamole guys so there we go we got like exploding fist level 7 down and we're just having a great time guys great time um by the way um the critters the critters i'm i, I can't wait i can't wait to test them out because i mean like it, it looks super awesome to test them out i mean like you're tossing a box from a gunboat a uh, gunboat and they're splitting up into pieces or are tons of uh, robots and they actually look super cool and they can distract they can distract defensive buildings they can step on those boom mines mines and uh, they can attack buildings it's gotta be a crazy update guys it's gonna be totally a crazy update so the next base that's gonna be tasting my pain is Cravenger 45 victory points level 15 um, I'm stepping on the mine on the right side and my Zookas are taking tons of damage right now I'm almost losing my Zooka army and I cannot afford losing all of my Zookas because mainly those are the one that's doing damage one heavy alone cannot take down the HQ because the, the HQ got tons of HP and the heavy are doing pretty much crap damage uh, when they're low level but when they're actually higher level they do a better damage uh, an all heavy attack can definitely bring down a, a max up base so that is yeah you need to upgrade your heavy uh, uh, to uh, to uh, to some point and then you can uh, you, then then you do some badass damage with your heavy so Cravenger 45 victory points, level 15 is just going down right now. I pretty much uh, 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 lured this guy. I went for the right side of the base and I'm just having fun with this guy right now. And there we go. We're blasting down the HQ and boom, yeah, boom. We took down the Cravenger, 45 victory medals, no problem at all. So two victory points from that base. Not too bad, not too bad. I lost like two casualties there. And my, my gold storage is filled up again. I need to use my gold on something here. And the question is, what should I be using my gold on? So I think I'm going to be keeping on rocking with those clouds on the archipelago. And I'm going to be upgrading the stone storage to level 2 probably. No, I cannot upgrade the stone storage. I don't have enough level or experience points to upgrade it. So it's going to be something else that I'm going to be upgrading. So what the question now is, what? Should I be upgrading? So yeah, nine thousand four hundred wood to upgrade the landing craft, and uh, yeah, I think we need to think about that. What do you guys think? Should I be upgrading the landing craft? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade the landing craft. To one hour and thirty minutes to about uh, to uh, to finish this uh, landing craft. We're gonna be keeping on rocking on the map, and we're gonna be rocking down a real player base. I'm definitely not gonna be attacking that high level player. I'm gonna be looting up the chest, and yeah, let's keep on exploring some 
Yeah, clouds probably. Yes, we do have a cloud here. 13,000 gold to explore this cloud. And we got a real player base, a chest, and an NPC base, and 21 diamonds. That's pretty, pretty sweet. It's super cool. It's tasty. So, okay, let's build up another bulk of army here. And uh, we're going to be attacking this uh, real player probably or not. This is a strong, this is a strong real player base. Really awesome setup on the base. I'm really sure that I cannot take down that base, so we're gonna be finding another real player base that we can attack. What about this one? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be attacked. Look at those upgraded sniper tower. What about the north real player base? What about this guy? Yes, this guy is gonna be tasting a lot of pain right now. Liz, 122410, level 11, 48 victory points. I'm gonna be rocking down your base. So basically what I'm gonna be doing here is actually tossing artillery shells on the sniper tower and the machine gun that is bulked up together so I can take them down both together and it's not gonna be a problem for me at all. Check this out and there we go. We took down the sniper tower and the, the machine gun together and I'm gonna be deploying my units on the left side of the beach. So the heavies are going first and the zookas are coming from behind and you guys know why I'm putting up my heavies in, in at the front uh, of this combo is because uh, the heavies are absorbing all of those damage while those zookas from behind are doing great damage on the buildings around and yeah a mortar and a sniper tower left is uh, the, the only thing standing right now this is definitely gonna be an easy win so I'm relocating my, my heavies to the sniper tower and we're gonna be booming down at sniper tower like a fish guys like a fishy guacamole and we do like have a one mortar left and I'm gonna be dodging that mortar did you guys see that did you guys see that dodge that's totally pro I dodged that mortar so I'm gonna be getting um some more gunboat energy and then I'm gonna be tossing medkit upon my heavies because we do still have a mortar there but well, the mortar aren't doing that too much damage against the heavies. Um, I do have a med kit and the mortar is firing at my heavies. No problem at all. We're just going to be working down this HQ like a banana, guys. Like a banana of the monkey. So, yeah, we took down the HQ. Liz, 122410, level 11, 48 victory points. Just went down. We got a short and a, a fragment, a magma, magma, magma ones, and that is super cool. So we're going to be uh, using some wood probably here because uh, we got tons of wood and yeah, let's uh, instant finish that landing craft. And the question here right now, what should I be upgrading the, the, uh, the gunboat to level 5 or uh, a landing craft upgraded once more? I'm really not sure yet. Really not sure, guys. Okay, so we're going to be uh, op opening this, uh, this uh, cloud and we got another chest. And should we keep on attacking? I don't think we're gonna be keeping on attacking. We're just gonna be upgrading the uh, the gunboat to level five. That's the last thing we're gonna be doing on this video. Three hours to complete the construction. I'm not gonna be instant finishing that. I got like 60 diamonds left, and that's basically it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this uh, video because I just love uh, showing you guys uh, zero to max episodes. So keep on booming, and I really hope there's another sneak peek for us tomorrow. See you guys later, and keep on booming like a boom of the banana guys boom boom rock on boom